In this presentation, you will learn about Historical Origins of the Modern State by Karl Marx. The materialist origin of the political institutions led Marx to focus on the historical formation of the state. Marx's early writings on the state were formulated as a critique of Hegel's political and social philosophy. Hegel understood the modern state to be the embodiment of rationality and universality as developed over the course of human history. Marx's critique rested on the claim that by locating universality and equality in the bourgeois constitutional state, Hegel inverted the relationship between the state and civil society. Marx traced the growing separation between civil society and the state as part of the transition from the estate and guild societies of the late medieval period to the consolidation of mercantile capitalist society in 18th century northwestern Europe. Marx's analysis of the state thus spanned two related but nevertheless distinct standpoints the philosophical perspective of his earlier writing, where the state is a juristical fiction that masks the class interests openly expressed in civil society, and a historical political perspective, where it is a social relation that reproduces a specific balance of forces in society. Although this has been explained as the gap between the young and the mature Marx, there are also certain continuities, namely the overcoming of political alienation by the eventual reabsorption of the state into society, what Engels later called the withering away or dying out the state, reappears in later writings such as the civil war in France. Marx, Engels and their followers, particularly Lenin, had no faith on the social contract theory as the origin of state. They have viewed the origin from a materialistic standpoint, which emphasizes that though the state is the creation of man, behind this there is no emotion, idea, but the influence of material conditions which they termed as economic conditions. They have divided the development of society into old communist social system, slave society, feudal society, and industrial society. In the old communist society, there was no state because there was no existence of private property. The system of private property worked as a potential cause of the rise of state. The owners of private property felt insecurity as to its protection and they felt the necessity of a superpower which could provide protection ultimately. Thank you for watching the presentation.